Hi spooky people, my name is Betty Bitch Mokumi Bips and welcome back to the channel! And today we're gonna be building an actual spooky build! Wow, I haven't done one of those in quite a while! And for that we are in this beautiful area right in between our shrine and Lucky's house. And Lucky, you know, kind of already should put you in the mood. That mood being absolutely graveyard fashion. That is right, we are going to be building a graveyard and I'm so freaking excited to be doing that. But before we can even get into the spookiness, we need to remove these bad boys. Alrighty, and now our next step is to kind of plan out the layout of this whole area while being absolutely dramatically stalked by clay over here. And for that, I decided to first put down a whole bunch of these western style stones, or as like the rest of human humanity likes to call them, uh, gravestones. I put on a whole bunch of gravestones, and I'm not, <laughs> like, I just put down a few. <laughs> not, I didn't, absolutely did not put down my entire inventory full of uh, gravestones. I didn't, no. <laughs> it's not like I have a weird obsession with these stones and I had a billion of them and now I all have them concentrated here in this corner. Absolutely not. What are you what are you thinking? So what you're seeing right now is like me digging these random holes. It's where I want to put bushes later. So I was kind of thinking, you know, where where can I put a bush where it's not in the way? I don't even know. To kind of figure out where I put bushes and where I therefore cannot put another gravestone. Because I wanted to fit every single freaking gravestone in my entire inventory in this area. I just, I need it. I needed to fit all of them in here. And I think I did manage quite well. And I can, like, the area is still walkable. It is still walkable. You need like half a brain cell to maneuver around everything, but it is walkable. Don't even fight me on that one. And another thing, oh my god, like you will see me struggle with placing and turning these gravestones. Oh, holy shit, dude. You think you have them placed and then the gravestone's like... <laughs> you thought, girly, you thought. So that is, that was like so much fun. So much fun. Also, you didn't just see that gravestone change color. No, <laughs> you didn't. So right here, I am also not just I'm not just planning out a bush. I'm also planning out a tree, which is the like hole further back. And I wanted to place this gravestone here, but I didn't like I left it there because I didn't really know what else to put. And then we also had this area up here that is right next to our Satanist shrine, and I also wanted to use that for one like. Of course, gravestones, what else? But also for a kind of... I don't even know what to call it, like ritual sacrifice... What's it called? Sacrifages? There is... Like the, the box. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, vocabulary is there today. Now, this one thing that you can get from Red, which is like this huge as box. That one. Oh my god, I love that box. As soon as I saw it, like the first time ever that I saw it, I was like, this needs to be this needs to be in a graveyard. And then I had this mirror, which color match, absolute fantastic, delicious. But I struggled with the arrangement of these items for too long. <laughs> for too long. That's all I'm gonna say. I did I don't leave them like this, I think. I rearranged it like four or five times, but I cut all of that out, so. I think you're only going to see like one tiny change, but that should be enough. And as you can probably see, I also very much like layering, as you might, might have guessed by me doing all of that. So I layered like the box back there and I also thought I could layer this dog with some vases, which I didn't have with me, but I did have some more gravestones, so <laughs> you already know what I put down first. Then I went ahead and got that tree as well as my entire uh, bush army. Everything right here is white plumerias, I think. I don't know if they will bloom in autumn. I hope not. <laughs> if they do, I don't like, you know, it's whatever. At least they're not pink.
Alrighty, and now we're getting to the part where I decided it is... It's walkway time. It's path time. I was not quite sure where I wanted to go with this path. And I also realized, you know, it's all nice and cute and fun and games. Uh, like putting down all the items before you do that. And then like planting the bushes and then doing the path. But as you can see, I, I needed to pick everything back up again. Because the paths would have not looked as good good and nicely flowing as I would have wanted them to be, so that was absolutely uh, very much a fun time. What the items did do is kind of help me make a more organic shaped path, because otherwise it would have all been straight, but like areas like this, for example, forced me to make this kind of swirly thingies, and I like them. I like them a lot. I think they make the paths look more pretty if you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm now pretty much used to putting items there first and then the path and then i have to put everything back <laughs> delicious fun times Alrighty, and now this corner I thought about for half an hour. I was just standing there, nothing. No movement, just just thinking. And what I came up with is the typical random grave that is still open and basically dug up. And I did this on my island that I had before, like my, my other island tool that's up on the channel. And I was so in love with this that I decided, you know what? Let's just let's just do it all over again. And I love it. I still love it. I love it again, and I will always love it forever and ever. Here, I try to make this path, but these stones are impossible to, like, round off. You can't create a round path, so that was kind of disgusting. Placed my little grabby hands, and then replaced all of my gravestones. Yes, delicious. Maybe I need to recolor some of those at a later point to like the brownish orange, but I couldn't be bothered. I'm sorry. I just, I couldn't. Here, that's what I meant when I was saying like layering him with like pots and vases and shit, but I didn't have them at that point. So <laughs> here we are like a day later <laughs> trying to place all of these beautiful vases. And when I tell you I struggled again, I thought, you know, this will out like growing out a little piece of, of the cliff would be like so easy to decorate ooh, ooh, because it's big and stuff. No, it isn't. It isn't. Rounded off corners are a nightmare. You can't put anything the way that you want to, but I think I'll leave it like that because it is aesthetic. All right, in the gravestone that I removed from the top, I'm now trying to place down here, and holy shit, sir, dude, <laughs> like, every time that I do stuff like this, one of my villagers is like, what about, what about me sitting here, in the way, forever, for like 15 minutes? Luckily, Lucky decided to move along pretty fast, otherwise I would have had to aggressively run into him for five billion times, but, <laughs> you know, he's lucky. <laughs> he moved. Funny joke, I know. I'm sorry. So here I was trying to adjust the gravestone to candle ratio because I didn't like it all being the same like position all in front of the tree. It was too... Ugh, I don't know. And then... Ugh, again, placing gravestones. Like, come on. They always turn in a way that you don't want them to be turned. And I think I have to remove it like once more to place... A flower in front of the gravestone and oh god guys if you ever decide to to place gravestones just prepare mental health okay prepare it for yourself alrighty we are moving that radio over here of course the main song there's no other option here we have this other little arrangement cute I love these statues and these candles. Just delicious. I love them so much. 
adding some more codes. I think I don't even show you all the codes that I placed underneath all of these items. Because at one point I was just like, no. You know what? No. Let's cut out these 40 minutes of me placing codes. <laughs> no one wants to see that. These codes, I showed you this part, but I think I do change them up later. And here we are at the last day of me decorating this, where I just... It, it was late and I was like, you know what? Let's just sit down and finish this build. So I grabbed this little ladder kit because I thought it would be a nice break from my usual non... Like from my usual vines. I mean, they are there. But I thought, you know, a ladder would be kind of nice. And then I grabbed just a whole bunch of flowers. So then I went on and placed all of these beautiful flowers. And I don't even think that this inventory was enough. I think I went like two or three times just to grab enough flowers for this whole area. Also this one tiny flower. <laughs> you, This is the only spot that you can see when walking up the stairs and like walking past his house. That's the only freaking spot you can see. So I thought, you know, just one flower. One tiny flower. That should be enough. And it is. It is. Placing flowers for me is really nerve-wracking because I want to place flowers in the perfect spaces and if, it, if I don't like it, I will dig the plant up 15 times because I can't have the same type of plant too many times in one area. But there are only so many black plants, you know? So that was... that was quite exhausting for me. <laughs> but then when I remembered I do have green and white pumpkins, I was like, oh. Yes, I could have placed these all along, and it would have made things so much more simple. Also, I am debating on replacing those yellow flowers there, but I don't know. I don't know. Now we are finally onto the weeds, and if you see weeds just magically changing after I put them down, no you don't. You don't see them change, okay? They just... I put them down like that the first time. I didn't spend 15 minutes per weed to get the grass, no. I magically placed them perfectly the first time everywhere. <laughs> yes. No questions asked, please. Alrighty, and now that we are doing the red leaf piles, those are about our last final touches for this beautiful area. We are just putting down this little path up here, and with that we are done and we are at the final walkthrough, so please enjoy that.
Alrighty friends, and with that we are done with this beautiful graveyard. I am so in love. I love how it turned out. I love the layout. I love the black flowers everywhere. Just delicious. And it being Lucky's yard? Oh, chef's kiss. Like I said before in the video, I think I might exchange some, if not all, of the white gravestones with the brownish, orange, like rusty version. But not now. Not now. For now, I'm gonna just enjoy the white gravestones because they do match the white plumeria bushes. Right here, they're not in bloom, but <laughs> we don't we don't talk about that. Alrighty, and with that being said, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this area, that you like this build as much as I do, and I really hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!